You know, it's not against law to buy a firearm. It's not against law to, to buy anything that they sell at a gun show. And when this is all resolved, you know, hey, yellow sheet is legal. An accusation is not. And bringing these tanks and stuff around here, I tell you what, being an American first, I'm the kind of guy that I'll stand in front of a tank. You can run over me, but I'll be biting one of the tracks. No one's going to hurt me or my family. That's, 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 that's American policy here. You could have arrested me any day as I jog up and down this road. You could have arrested me going to town or going to Walmart. Waco is going to bear witness against the ATF. The two agents across the street over here, uh, Robert Gonzalez, I love the guy. I was honest with him. I brought him into my home. He was going to stay here for two weeks. All this stuff you may, you guys may want to avoid and deny. You know, you know, he wanted to tour around a place. I promised him a tour. He could have talked to any of these guys around here, anybody. He was free to come and go as he chose. And I do not appreciate it, and never will I ever appreciate somebody coming here with two helicopters and cattle, cattle trailers and all that and uh, pushing people around with guns. Hey, I'll meet you at the doorstep any day, you know, and somebody will get hurt. If you want to keep playing that game, I'm talking to you. Somebody's going to get hurt because this ain't America anymore when the ATF has that kind of power to come into anybody's home and kick doors down and things like that. Now, I, I heard, I, and I do understand, someone reminded me of this, I do understand that one of the officers says his gun went off on accident. And that, you know, that was just like a signal and all that, you know. But look, beside the point, ATF, you boys are wrong. Your practices, your habits, yeah. Drug dealers, fine. You know, but even there's always a question. If there's any question whatsoever, the kids or women are involved, damn you, I tell you what, you keep your damn gun in your holster. You send a couple of big, brave, invincible kind of men, you let them knock on the door. If they're so damn involved to where they can risk their lives for the name of the law, then send them up, bulletproof, put them in some kind of uh, night armor or whatever, and let them knock on the door and ask the questions first. But no one's going to expect me, when they come busting in on my door with guns drawn and pointed in the air, and someone fired me, that I'm going to lay down and die for anybody. This just ain't going to happen in this country. God speaks to me. I have a message to present. You may not believe that. If you don't believe that, then believe this irrespective of God speaking to me. You see this here? Hey, this is my family. It may not be like your family. You know, it may not be like your family. This one here, you know, he's my family too, right, Joseph? Yeah. Tell him, tell him, you know. Look in that camera and tell him what you think about it. Who's treated you good? David. You know, do you mind that son? Huh? Do you love Joseph? Your best buddy? Yeah. Yeah. You too, Damon? So, you know, you guys, you guys, you have it, you do it your way, I do it my way. You got to argue with me, you catch me on the side of the road somewhere, you come and argue with me. You come point guns in the direction of my wives and my kids, damn it, I'll, I'll meet you at the door any time. And I'm sorry some of you guys got shot. But, uh, hey, God will have to sort that out, won't he? So we're going to send this tape out now. And I've, I'm leaking in the back here. i got to get this taken care of. And uh, I'm hoping it gets stronger. And maybe we can send more tapes as issues develop. I do thank you guys, Sheriff Harwell. God bless you. And, you know, thanks for getting us the milk. And, uh, what can I say? You just, um, they call me a rambling man, don't they? Anyway, God bless, and we'll sign off, Steve.